Welcome to your market update and charts of the day with Max Messina and Go Markets. It's the 4th of March and we are in the midpoint of the Asian session. So let's check out what's happening today so far. On Friday, US markets posted gains. The bulls very much in control with the Nasdaq outperforming and hitting record highs. The final earnings season numbers support valuations at this stage and there is increasing market chatter about potential Chinese stimulus. US futures are trading near neutral in early trading today. Asian markets are generally following that US lead with the Nikkei outperforming in over 40,000. ASX is trading just below neutral, underperforming the rest of the Asian indices, but European equity futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. US dollar index failed to break out of that short-term range and pulled back a little bit. Consequently, gold surged to near record highs. It is neutral in Asia at this stage. Copper also traded near neutral today, it's stuck around that 385 level. The next key level to the upside is 385. And oil was the other outperformer towards the back end of the week. It breached resistance and is back to November levels. Although, again, not showing much more buying coming in in Asia at this stage. Bitcoin was the other major mover. It continues to move higher, around 63,000 at this stage, with that key 65,000 level in sight. And on the data front, with the exception of the Swiss CPI, there's not much going on at all today. Noteworthy is the non-farm payrolls at the end of the week. For the charts that caught our eye today, uh, the GB pound yen looks very interesting uh, on the four hourly chart. You can see we've got to move up today on this candle here, moving back towards this R1 pivot level at 190.36. We think that this could be an important level if we breach this. Could take us up maybe 65 pips up to around about this 191 level. If you just look on the 30 minute chart, you can see in Asia we've had a generally positive day. Just pausing a little bit so that 190.36 looks important. On the ASX, LYC looks particularly interesting. You can see that move on Friday over that 604 resistance. We've got a follow through today around about 620 as we speak could be a move up towards this 200 ma around about 670 on the cards in the medium term it looks very positive and the buyers appear to be in trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now